Hello and welcome to this build tutorial of my custom made resin printed all wheel drive kit for the Gen 1 X mod. So, what we're going to start off with is our Gen 1 X mod. Now, I did already start disassembling some of this. Uh, what you need to do is there's going to be four screws right here, and you're going to want to remove all of them. Now, I do have a couple different size screws, because I have torn this car apart to the point where the holes are pretty much uh, worn out. So, we're going to go with that, as well as some other mods I've had on here as well, so your car might look very different. However, the front end's going to stay the same. One thing you definitely want to make sure you do is make sure that your steering rack is already in. Because once you put the gear on here, if this isn't on, you're going to have to start all over. So let us begin. So going along with removing these four screws, there's also going to be, if you still have the top plate, four screws that go on top. You're going to want to remove all of those and then pull the part off. Then after you remove these screws, these pieces will come out. Now if you want to go as well, you don't have to, but you can also remove the front shocks. You take that out, it might help a little bit in the long run. So, I guess we should also go over the kind of parts we'll need. So, the first part we're going to need is this little resin printed gear. I know these are in clear, so this might not help looking at it on the camera. So here is the first part that we need, this resin printed gear. Other things we'll need are two dog bones. These are... I think a little smaller than Evo's, so you can also use those if you have some uh, metal ones. Do have resin printed axles. Now I do print these with holes in the center. Use a screwdriver. So then you can put some some of these rods through them, cut them, and then when you cure them in the resin, uh, they stay glued in there for extra reinforcement. Surprisingly, these cups are what would break, if anything, and uh, they are actually very strong. Other things we'll need is we also have this short coupling as well. This one goes in the differential. And then, because I can't get these apart, uh, we have our main gear, which I do have another one somewhere. Yeah, currently in the curing resin. And then as well, might be a little hard to see, but it's this slides into the gear, and it is the long version of this. Now, if you wish, you can always use an actual OEM uh, differential gear for the Gen 1s. Uh, this will slide into it, it just won't have this bulky cupping, here, this bulky cup here to slide into. And then, the last thing we will need are actual axles, which I think I've already said before, and yeah. And they do actually have threads on the end of them, and they do work, so that's really nice. Okay, and then something else you'll need that's not included in the kit, at least on Thingiverse, is two Gen 1 bearings. These are needed for the slots and the uh, bearing holes in these black pieces. So, let us begin. First thing we're going to need is our gear, and this will just slide right onto our shaft. Now, it might need a little bit of pushing. It'll probably need a lot of pushing, because not only do you have to align it up, but you also need... It's also meant to be a little on the tight side. Now, you got to be careful on pulling it out as well. Whoop. As, yeah, like I just did right there. Oh. Because you definitely don't want to pull it out and misalign your drive shaft into the drive gear. So as we line this up, it's also very hard because this is clear, but you know what? I like using the clear resin much more than colored because this can look very beautiful. I'm going to break it, aren't I? That's not good. There we go. Okay. 
on nice and tight. Yeah, I definitely don't want that to be loose, because if anything's going to cause problems, it's going to be that. Okay, so what we want to do is make our first sub-assembly. What you're going to need is one of the spare bearings, which I have on here already, your differential gear, your long coupling, and then you're also going to need to put together your axle. So, I have one axle here with a bearing in it. Put that in. And then also, dog bone. And we'll put that in there. Now another thing as well, you got to make sure that the bearing stays in here. As that is required for this wall right here. So, a good way to align... Oops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Fell out. Now always you can leave this nut as a sub-assembly and put it on like that if it's easier. However, for me, I enjoy doing it like this. Even though that does seem to put me in a bit of pain. <laughs> Alright. So, gonna put that in. And then to guarantee that this stays down, we're gonna want to throw some screws in it. As I drop them. these in off camera so I can actually that's one in other one and you know what we can put a spring on as well it at least holds the bottom in okay so looking really good very hard to see but there is a very narrow gap between the gear and the thick rod that we have right here that is definitely good if you want to as well you can throw on your other bearing and put your wheel on now because this is resin and not metal you're gonna have to be a little careful with this so, just when it gets to the tight, don't over crank it. There. Okay, now we only have one more side to go. So, what we want to do, load our bearing inside, put our coupling in. Get our axle, put that through. Dog bone. There we go. So then what we want to do is we're going to put this in. It's going to be a little difficult because we do also have to get this little nub inside the gear. Now granted, you can always set it next to it as long as you line the other two spots. And then what you want to do... has managed to get away to get it in there. <laughs> now what you can do in this case if it's going to be too much of a pain, which it seems to be doing right now, so we can take this off, whoops, and then we can use our screwdriver and break it! Nice! <laughs> Well, that wasn't supposed to happen, so we're going to take a break here, I'm going to get a new one, and we'll try that again. Alright, let's try this again. So, now that I have a piece that is actually a little more, uh, a little more cured, it's started, starting to yellow. Now let's try this again. So, what I probably should do is properly aim it before I give it a lot of force and push it in, because that's how I broke the last one. Okay, so it looks like we're pretty well aimed. 
use the screwdriver a little just to push it in and don't force it. And then we'll screw this back in. Well, if I can aim that part. There we go, that's nice. Okay, so what we want to do, we have our axle inside of this. We have our dog bone. Now we want to line this up. So we're going to line our dog bone up with how we have our piece slightly angled. Actually, you know what does work? If we put the dog bone in first, Put it in like that, angle it slightly upward. Because then what we need to do is we need to align this in first, then the bottom hole, and in like that. So what we'll do, <clears throat> screw this in. our shock back on drop it and last but not least put our wheel on I kind of already have a bearing in that at that housing, the knuckle. And there we are. That rolls like a champ. Now obviously a good thing to always do is definitely put it on high power and just give it a, ni a nice break in. It needs to get the, all the teeth mixed in very nicely and once that's all done this thing runs really nicely. Alrighty, hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you did please hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. Wow, this is loose. I need new screws. Either way, see you in the next one. Bye.